Hello all dinosaurs and dinosaurians. Today I'm gonna show you guys my entire collection of sharks. Some crabs, lobsters, walrus, penguins, and some prehistoric animals. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Right, the first figure right here is actually a prehistoric marine reptile which is known as the Mosasaurus. I'm gonna put all the marine reptiles and sharks on the right hand side, okay? Of course, we have this really huge Megalodon which I really really like. I mean, take a look at this, it looks really fantastic. Just gonna put this right over here. Let's take a look at some of the figures hidden um, below so you can actually find a walrus, it has two huge tusks. So the walrus will go on um, the left hand side, similarly to this red lobster right here. You can see this is a huge lobster with two really big pencils. Okay, let's put this right over here. And let's take a look at another prehistoric animal. This is actually known as a Dunkelosteus. It is an armored fish. I mean, if you can take a look, the entire body is like covered with armor. Really, really awesome. Next up, what else we've got? Another lobster right over here. Let's see. Yet another lobster. So we have plenty of um, lobsters right over here. It actually comes with a fat prod. So let's have a look. They feed primarily on fish and mollusk, and will, but will consume algae and other plant life. All right, there are ten-legged crustaceans, closely related to shrimp and crabs. Wow, pretty cool. Really love this lobster figure. What else we've got? A great white shark figure from Schleich, I think. All right, and what is this? What type of shark is this? Let's take a look at the name. It is a bull shark. This is actually a um, super aggressive shark. It's actually much more aggressive than a um, great white shark. Right over here, we have a hammerhead baby. Yes, this is, oh, this is just a hammerhead shark. So take a look at this. So you can see the head looks like a hammer. All right. What else we've got? This is another really new addition to our collection. I think this is a Thrasher Shark. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at the name which is right below. Yes, it's known as a Thrasher Shark. It has a very long tail. Not, not so curvy because this has been like a warp. Alright. What else we've got? Alright. We have a manatee. Yes. A manatee is actually a herbivore. Let's put this right on the left hand side and I think we have another great white shark right over here you can see it looks really really beautiful the name is written right below great white shark what else we've got this it's a prehistoric marine reptile and the name is I'm not too sure I think this is a, a um, Leoplo Rudon if I'm not wrong okay let's see what else we've got this one looks like a zebra shark or a leopard shark. I'm not too sure. Let's have a look at the name written right below. Yes, it's, it's a zebra shark. What else we've got? This really huge prehistoric marine reptile. This is actually known as a um, Chronosaurus. That's right, a 2017 figure, like four years ago. What else we've got? We've got a Hermit crab right here. Let's have a close-up shot at, at this beautiful sea creature. All right, it comes with a shell and This is a spotted seal. Take a look at this adorable sea animal All right, I put all the spotted seals on the left hand side Let's take a look at another um, prehistoric marine reptile. Is this is this a Tylosaurus or Mosasaurus? I think it should be a Tylosaurus. Yes, it's right, a 2009 figure. Yeah, pretty old figure. Another huge Chronosaurus, and this one actually has a movable jaw. Well, take a look at how huge this um, prehistoric creature is. Yes, it is actually very, very big. Chronosaurus, a collective figure. What else we've got? 
We've got a crab right here and this is actually known as a king crab. I mean, what is interesting about this um, figure is that there's plenty of like spikes and thorns. The name is written right over here, king crab. All right, beautiful crab. And I'm um, talking about beautiful sea animals. I think we have another one which is really, really beautiful. This is a jellyfish. Okay, I think a lot of them are actually like translucent. And you see them, you know, like you know, in documentaries. Another prehistoric animal right over here. I think this is a Leopold Rudon. Let's take a look. Yes, that's the name, Leopold Rudon, a twenty zero eight figure. Um. Not too sure why this frog is doing right over here. I'm not too sure what is the exact species of this frog. So if you guys know, please help me out down below, okay? This is a hammerhead shark. Let's take a close look at what is written right below. So it basically says hammerhead shark baby. So it's like a um, smaller version. Yep. And this is a mosasaurus. Let's have a close up look at this. Yes, the name is written clearly right at the bottom. Mosasaurus, which is a prehistoric marine reptile known as Lizard of the Muse River. Okay. Um, octopus. Yes, it has eight tentacles. It has um, camouflaging abilities, which is super awesome. This is a blue crab um, figure from Safari LTD. I really love this figure a lot. And you can also find the name right over here so crabs a lot of crabs have like teeth in the stomach what is this yes i think we got this very very recently this is actually a blue shark from safari ltd blue shark what else we've got great white shark i think many of you guys know this very well all right Lobster! Yes, that's right. We have a red lobster. We have plenty of lobsters today. Another Mosasaurus. Yes, that's right. Another prehistoric marine reptile. Okay, this is a pretty old figure, 2014. What else we've got? A beautiful red colored um, crab. Let's see the name. It has a very, very interesting name which is known as Sally Lightfoot Crab. Yeah, Lightfoot Crab. I think Sally is just the name of this figure. Another really, really cool looking sea animal. This is actually a horse shoe crab. It, um, it was actually found like, you know, millions of years ago when dinosaurs were around and um, they still can be found right now. Yeah, I mean, take a look at the name. Horse shoe crab, yep just got this figure not too long ago this it's a sawfish let's see yes the name is written right below is sawfish a shark i'm not too sure so if you guys know please help me out down below and not a great white shark right over here okay this one i'm not too sure is this a zebra shark or is this a leopard shark let's have a look Okay, um, zebra shark. So you can see zebra sharks have like spots and um, stripes across the body. This is a shark, a really adorable one. Another shark, I think this is the short fin mako shark, if I'm not wrong, let's see. Yes, the striped short fin mako shark. Beautiful looking shark. Another shark which looks very, very interesting is actually this. Mega mouth shark, which is actually extremely rare. It can only be found in um, the very, very deep oceans. Yeah, mega mouth shark. Okay, what else we've got? Another hammerhead shark. This one looks really adorable. Okay. Um, we have a red ear slider. Yep, I have three red ear sliders. Um, at my home, in my home. They're yeah, really adorable. And um, we have a Atlantic white sided dolphin. You can always remember this dolphin with this um, yellow stripe 
Across the body. This is a lemon shark, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. The name is written right over here. Lemon shark is like yellow in color. We have a sea turtle. And this is a leather back sea turtle, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. That's right. This is a black tip reef shark. Okay. There are really different species of sharks around. This is a basking shark. It has a huge jaw. Yep. And this is a white tip reef shark. Right. And what else we've got? This should be a um, leopard shark. Let's see. It looks like a zebra shark, but I think it should be a leopard shark. That's right. We have a crab right over here. A purple octopus. Really love this figure a lot. It's really big. Another octopus. This one is from Safari LTD. The name is written right below. You can see there are a lot of like suction carbs at the bottom of his body. Um, this is a sea turtle. Yep. This is a squid, and in fact, this it's a giant squid figure. Although it doesn't really look um, that big. Okay, giant squid. This one is a megalodon. Megalodon this is actually a prehistoric shark. It has like different rows of teeth and um, it has the ability to grow back its teeth if it goes missing. Yeah. This is a shark ray. Alright. I think it's a type of shark. Let's see. It lives in the Indo-Pacific Ocean waters. What else we got? Another manatee. Alright, they look very adorable. Giant tortoise. They're not really sea animals. They actually live on land. So not too sure why I put them in this box. This should be a bamboo shark. You can see it has like two to show what you even call them. Yeah, bamboo shark. Bamboo sharks aren't strong swimmers, but they use their fins to walk along the sea floor. Cool. And we have a sea lion. Let's see, sea lion. Wow, this is a pretty old figure, 1996. And um, this is a bonnet head shark. Yes, it is a kind of hammerhead shark. Looks very similar to, to them. We have a nurse shark. You can see it has like two fangs right in front. Yeah, or, or fillers. I don't, don't even know what to actually call these two little things. And a squid. And I think this is our last figure of the day. You can't really tell what type of shark this is. I have to take a look at the name. Grey Reef Shark. Wow, nice. Yeah, I just got this figure very recently. Okay, last figure of the day is actually a dolphin. It actually don't belongs here. Yeah, a dolphin. That's all we have for today's video. Hope that you guys enjoy this and um, stay tuned for the next video, okay? Thanks and goodbye.